Hi guys, ABP Man here with Tablets for Me, and today we're going to do an installation and review a, of a screen protector, a tempered glass screen protector for the Moto 360 46 millimeter second edition. This screen protector is brought to us by Super Shields. Included in your package, you'll have a wet and dry wipe, a dust remover, two of them, a microfiber towel to wipe your screen, as well as the tempered glass screen protector. For those of you who have been following the channel for quite some time now, you know I'm a really big fan of tempered glass screen protectors. I think they're the ones that give us the closest real glass feel, uh, at the same time protecting your device from scratches. Uh, as always, just a couple tips. I have never had a truly poor experience when it comes to tempered glass screen protectors. Uh, the exception um, only happens if I'm in a dusty environment. So as you set up your smartwatch or any device where you're going to put a tempered glass screen protector or any protector for that matter it's important that you're in a dust free environment that you don't have the fan going that you don't have the air going or heat going depending on where you are and that you are doing it in a place that's well lit so what we're going to do now is just follow some easy steps we're going to wipe the screen we're going to dry the screen and then we're going to place the screen protector so the first thing we're going to do is wipe it So. We're going to take our wipe and we're going to wipe down the screen nice. Um, you want to make sure that you get any kind of grime that's on there off. Um, mine is still on. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's turn that off again. Uh, and uh, I say that because your phone, or in this case your watch, may have gotten finger oils that are going to cause uh, the screen protector not to stick. So once you've done that, you're going to use the drying cloth to dry it up. So I'm just drying it up now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to visually inspect it to make sure that there are no dust particles, any kind of, I would say, hair, you know, eyelashes in here that are going to cause the screen protector not to adhere. Uh, so all I'm going to do is just like look at it like this. And you notice I don't see anything there. And the next step is to place our screen protector. Now taking a closer look at the screen protector, let's zoom in to it for a second. You'll notice that um, it's slim, but most screen protectors are going to be this thickness, right? So it's not terribly thick, but it is going to add an extra piece of glass on top of your uh, your watch. It's really important that you have clean hands when you do this because you don't want to get any kind of grease um, on your fingers. So what I would recommend is once you've cleaned your screen using the alcohol swipe that you actually do this with your hands, right? That you just, your fingers, you just make sure that you don't have anything on it. Uh, what we're going to be doing is now removing this piece and then just placing it as best as we can on the screen. So let's go ahead and try that. So again, we're just going to remove it. And I'm just holding it on the sides, just like this, and I'm just going to place it. So I'm going to look to place it somewhere right in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop for a second because I want to make sure that I get it accurate, right, so that I place it right on top of it uh, without any problems. Now one of the things I just wanted to share as a tip, uh, I found that placing the glass screen protector, because of the the watch is so small in the area that you're working on, it's not as simple as when you're working with a phone. So um, what I did is I put some tape on the face of it and I snuck my finger in right here and then I used this as a almost like a as a way to kind of align it and place it down. Uh, so it was important for me to try to get it as center as possible. Uh, one of the things that I will highlight and I'm going to zoom in so you can see uh, how it aligned is the fact that I did have to lift it a couple times, not because there was um, a fault with the screen protector, but because I wasn't not as centered as I had wanted. So simply all I did is I put my nail on the corner and lifted it a little bit, and I didn't drag, so you don't want to drag it because it's going to mess the adhesive up. So what you want to do is put your nail on the side, lift it a little bit, and then uh, replace it. So I try to use my fingers on all four corners and then push it down and kind of feel my way uh, to the point where I felt that all the edges were centered. Uh, it's very close. It's probably not a hundred percent, but you know that's possibly just me. Uh, so you can take a look at what it looks like. And when I turn on the the uh, watch, you'll notice it looks really good. The screen protector on there. So this is going to give me, and I'm sure you, a lot of confidence. And not uh, if I do bang up the screen for whatever reason, I'm not going to bang up 
um, the actual glass for the watch. So all in all, I'm very happy with the installation. You'll notice that there is no lifting around the corners, around the edge, which you find on some glass screen protectors because they get too close to the bevel. So there, this does not meet the bevel on the side of your watch, and I think that's done intentionally so that it doesn't lift. So as you can see right there, really nice uh, implementation. I'll have it sideways like this so you can see and uh, it does not impact the clarity whatsoever for the watch. So this concludes our review installation of the tempered glass screen protector from Super Shields on the Moto 360 second edition 46 millimeter. If you have any comments or questions about this product, please leave it on the YouTube channel. I will include a link for the product in the notes. And once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks again.